Hunter x Hunter, episode 19. I'm sure whatever it is is par for the course. Can't win X and X can't lose. You know, <laughs> actually at this point, they have just put so much faith in this guy's hands who has not proven himself to be the most cogent, coherent, concerned for their well-being. There are no checks and balances here. There is no control. There is a non-zero possibility that the, the end result is just unwinnable. He just decides there's no one, no one can pass this here. He's like a college professor given way too much control, allowed to live out his fantasies. What are you? Final nine. I don't think I would have been able to predict, except for Hisoka and the four of them. Right, 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 that makes sense. Only one person? Huh? Oh, that, that is wild. What in the Willy Wonka? Oh, so, wow, that's good odds. Oh, how much it would hurt to be that one person. Can't win and can't lose might refer to Gon not wanting to fight his own people. Okay, all right, that's a breeze. Oh, oh. Oh, but you don't need, yeah, uh, yeah. You only need one win. You don't need to beat Ahsoka. Uh-oh, Leorio. <laughs> Leorio. No one can help you. No one can save you this time. This exam is surprisingly more accommodating than I thought it would be. Oh, that's true. They're stacked differently. Leorio has very few chances. Because I can do what I want. <laughs> I do what I want. I am the chairman. Oh, he's laying it out. I'm really curious. Okay. Yeah. That overall impression, big question mark. That just begs more questions. Right, they all made it. Honestly, I feel like it's the third category that's the most important. Right, that is accurate to life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, like, oh my god, I feel this so strongly. People sometimes get really caught up in the, the objective metrics, trying to jump through hoops. In so many cases, how far you go will be a function of how well you fit and how well people like you. There are a couple ways to look at that. One of that is frustration. You know, if someone is the type to want to know the metrics that they have to work on so that they can plan something and feel in control of their lives and take the action they need to take, etc., they're going to feel unnerved by the diminished importance of those metrics. And there is something often unfair about it. You know, there is something nepotistic sometimes. Favoritism is real in ways that are unproductive. The other way to look at it is that for anything important and therefore probably complicated, you're not really going to be able to devise any kind of perfect testing system. A lot of things do come down to the intangibles. And so really in those cases, the, the testing, what it's really doing is filtering out the absolute lowest people who can't do anything. It's a way to create a floor, but it's important to recognize that that goal is not the ultimate goal. It's more of a, a preliminary filter. In any situation, like for example, at a job, I think it's useful to show up and, and really try to be critical about what matters, what, what's important. Two things jump out to me. One is that Gon is the ideal candidate, but so is this guy. Though Hisoka, while still being one one rank, I guess, lower than Gon, is still very high, and despite there being very different. Kurapika also in there, and Kalua one rank below that. Maybe that's a maturity thing. How much they're able to process or reason things in heated situations. Lirio being the worst because he gets, gets worked up by a gentle breeze. Kalua also would be one notch down there, right? He's got that massive chip on his shoulder. Kurapika also had that moment of losing himself. Hisoka almost lost himself in that bizarre incident where he was just standing there bloodlusting. That thought is maybe why you're not ranked higher. Or related. See, see, see. Don't be jealous of Gon. Alright, so killing's off the table. I guess everyone here in this room is too valuable to let die at this point. It's definitely not just pure concern for human life. That's That's... Been out the window a long time ago. Haven't seen too much of Hanzo, but just subtle cues say he's super talented. I feel like he beats Gon here. 
Gon doesn't even have his fishing pole. So can Hisoka not use cards? Damn, who are these exam- I guess they're people who passed the Hunter exam. That explained why they're so- so invisible. Okay. Oh, I- okay. No one really let on. Me too. <laughs> yeah, oh, of course. Can we knock him down a point? This is a- that's a crazy twist on this whole thing. Why even fight? To inflict pain? Yeah, go on this. Got a hard head. <laughs> I love the confidence. He's like three times the size and a literal child. He's like, yeah, we look about equal, about even. Size this guy right up. Kalua having mixed feelings, perhaps. Definitely paying close attention. Yeah, yeah he's, it's not gonna be easy. He's top ranked like Gon. How do you win against Gon though? He won't give up, he won't surrender. Can't knock him out. Okay, that established a power level there. Kalua kind of rattled here. Gon might give up just, I don't know, recognizing. Yeah, I'm, I have mixed feelings. Like on the one hand, Gon is bold as hell. He's not a quitter. On the other hand, he's just so good natured. I don't think he would mind giving someone like the compliment of saying, oh, you're great. Gon's so confident he wouldn't be a hater. He wouldn't be stubborn out of hate. Gon also wouldn't feel any embarrassment about watching all of his peers watch him just get wrecked. It just can't happen in a way that he feels like he's failing himself. He's not being unreasonable though, I mean, like what is he supposed to do? If you're Hanzo, what do you do? Oh, Panzo's out, I just realized. <laughs> right, there's something very sadistic about this whole thing. How resilient are you? And also, how much pain can you inflict on your fellow man? It's crazy, but I have faith it's deliberate. I feel like there's a reason for all of this. I don't think it's just that he's a crazy old man. At least not completely. Not That's not the whole thing. Sadism. Hanzo. Oof. Why does it hurt so bad to see going bleeding? Oh, it's vomit. Probably vomiting blood. Such a Leorio reaction. Well played. What's the... What's the plan here, Gon? We know you're not gonna give up, but we know you, we know you have it. We know you have it. You gotta think here. <laughs> it's bold, but I feel like it crossed the line because since he has so many chances, it's not the practical element of wanting to win the exam. It feels like an identity thing. Battling to the death. I mean, there's something really impressive about that. It speaks a lot about you and your character, but you don't want to be battling to the death over nothing. You just want to know you can do it when you need to, so that when the right cause is there, you you have that. This is a very weird example. I don't know why this came to mind, but I remember I had like a weird existential crisis when I was 16 or something. I was with a friend of mine. I had identified the fact that I was really afraid of certain things, and my teenage brain was reasoning that it was the fear that was the, the thing holding me back and that I could somehow eliminate fear, and that translated into the idea that I had to do everything that scared me. At that moment, we were standing above a body of water, I was saying like, if I'm really who I want to be, I should just jump into this water right now. And later I felt really disappointed in myself that I didn't. But that's ridiculous, right? Like there was nothing to be gained by jumping into the, the water. There was no benefit to it. Really, it was my insecurity talking, right? Because there are so many other ways I could face my fears and do things that are terrifying that actually would benefit me on the other side. I'm wondering if Gon wouldn't have a different take on this if he hadn't had that experience with Hisoka. There's a question that can be really useful in so many arenas of life. And it's the classic one of, is this the hill I really want to die on? Do I need to win 
this argument? Is this the argument that's going to make things better? Is this the argument that's going to change things? Do I need to conquer this fear? Is this fear the actual obstacle? There's a counterpoint to be made that who you show up as in any one situation is how you probably show up in any situation. But discretion is the better part of valor, as I think Obi-Wan said. Being able to fight is crucial, but knowing when to fight also crucial. And I think you really only get muddled about which is which when you don't believe you can fight. <laughs> that's not good. I feel you, Lurio. Oh, no, that's a... No, 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 no. Speaking of your battles, don't do that to Gon. That's kind of selfish. <laughs> Groupie Gon's in there, too. <laughs> oh, damn! The eyes! You don't need to explain. I mean, we can see. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn, what a cool thing to say. For reasons I can't put into word, I, I feel like Hanzo, wow, was not expecting that. That totally caught me off guard. Thank you for the exposition, yeah. I was about to say, I feel like for reasons I can't explain, Hanzo is one of those talented people who doesn't go very far. He's like too obvious, like too conventionally good, I don't know. <laughs> Only six years from 18 to 12. Of course you did. <laughs> yeah, but that's hollow. You can't kill him. That would probably kill him. Nah, I think he's he's gone this far. Pretty much sums it up. <laughs> <laughs> like how entertained they all are. Okay, this actually might work. It does kind of lean on Hanzo's goodness in a sense. Because Hanzo could just continue beating the crap out of him. <laughs> but on the flip side, Hanzo also has more opportunities to win. And this could just play to his lack of patience. Nobody disqualified. Right, yeah, it's not really a plan. Empty threat. Uh, he's convincing me. I think if you're Hanzo, you just <laughs> Wow. I mean, he kind of needs this win after he broke his arm. Uh-huh, I see. Yeah, Clue is really stuck evaluating this in terms of power only. They like Gon. I don't, I don't remember ever seeing him flinch from near death. After all that, I doubt it. I doubt you're willing to go through that. This, is just, this whole thing just turned into a mental battle. This is good for Kalua to see this. There it is, in just one plain statement. Chill, let it, let it play out. Hanzo's still in full health, perfect condition, very confident. Oh, he's caving. He's caving. Going one. Damn, I underestimated going again. I'm kind of eating my words right now. Oh, it's so great. This is such a great moment. Simultaneously, the most inspirational thing and not great, you know, like the heart and the sheer will. It's unreal. It's godlike. But don't you want to see a little bit of self-preservation in there? A little bit of tactical thinking, easing up a, a, a little bit? I mean, conceptually, I'm all about principle and sticking to your principle and that being its own reward and that being sort of the ultimate guide. But the difficulty of that is you want to make sure you're doing that for the right principles and the right application of those principles. Never conceding defeat ever. I'm not sure that's one that goes far and it's definitely a liability to your life now whether or not you value your life more than your principles is i guess a legit question for characters like gone but it's a lot simultaneously you can tell who's won by their eyes speaking of playing different games he has four more chances. Wow, <laughs> that was amazing. They're going to pull that off. I didn't believe. No one believed. Yeah. 
Uh, like, it feels legitimately to me like that's... Okay, what? <laughs> what do you propose, Gon? Gon is so stubborn. Working things out means just doing what Gon wants. <laughs> He's asking a lot, but... He just somehow commanded this whole situation, so you have no, no choice but to do what he says. Alright, ref's really spared him there. Ooh, Kuro going through changes right now. Like a lot of parts of this exam arc, this has a lot more potential for interesting moments than initially anticipated. You figure it's a bracket, right, and it's just gonna be a fight to the death? No, there's a lot more to it. Strategy, will, heart. God, I have so many mixed feelings about Gon. I feel like I won't be able to fully come to any kind of conclusion until I see what significance this has for his character going forward, but uh, it's another one of those situations where a character is so great, but that greatness contains an element of the terrifying, the horrifying. My counterpoint earlier was that how you do one thing is how you do everything. There is something very insidious about making concessions you don't wanna make, because the person the most important answer to is yourself and if you know yourself to be one that makes concessions you're kind of weakening your own stance from which to believe in yourself and view yourself and also creating a precedent for you to continue to make concessions in that area other areas and that has a way of being a slippery slope so that's what comes to mind when Gon says i have a feeling if i give this up i'm never going to complete my goal but then looking at the goal is it really finding his father i mean yes and no, he's a, a kid. He's a great kid, but he's a kid. He's got some hurt in him, has less regard for his own life than most people would. I'm thinking back to the Hisoka incident, and part of how I initially interpreted that was putting the fear of death in him, like realizing he can lose, but that doesn't seem totally right anymore. It wasn't the loss, it was the feeling that he got something that he didn't earn. He got where he was from Hisoka's pity. Throwing out a theory here, I mean, maybe Gon is very aware of his vulnerability and is doing everything he can to fight that feeling. And so it's very important to himself that at every moment, he asserts that he can do it, that he is strong enough, that he is worthy, that he can make it. To have anything happen to the contrary would be to let in the, the seed of doubt that could be destabilizing for like a little kid trying to take on a giant world and like I was saying about Leorio, I, I get that. I genuinely don't want success or rewards I feel I didn't earn. I think actually it's a, it's a negative. I think it robs me of the experience of proving to myself what I want to know about myself. But again, at the same time, as I think this tournament has established very well, you don't need to play every game that's that you stumble across. Part of mastery is like picking the game. And I think the more you are resilient and truly believe in what you want to believe about yourself, not not faking it, not creating a fiction that you're clinging to, but like really have faith in, in what you are in whatever area, that's when the, the meaningless battles can be just skipped without any emotional consequence. I mean, if Gon was so confident in his ability to master every situation, would he need to win every situation? If he were at that level of confidence, he would need to win everything that mattered to him towards his goal. Though, to his credit, this is an example of that. This is his mission, right? He's trying to find his father. Yeah, I think I just convinced myself that Gon is right. I too have relented to Gon's unflinching stubbornness.